Brothers and sisters in Christ, hope everybody's well today. Just wanted to get on here and show you what the Lord wanted me to give as a message. Um, this is sort of off topic, but my last video um, was talking about, um, the Lord said to me, um, California is about to be hit. And <laughs> not but a day later, the next day, you know, he's he's quick with his confirmations. Um, Marfugo comes out with a video called California Volcano Warning. <laughs> so I'm not saying it's going to be a volcano per se. Um, it, it might be more, it might be that as well as other things. Um, I know that total destruction is coming to California. So um, this was my confirmation on that. And I just wanted to show you that. So before I continue, I just want to say all glory to the Lord God Almighty. I don't want any glory. It all goes to the Lord Jesus Christ. Also, I want to confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh and that Jesus is Lord. Now, this message is about the return of the remnant. The remnant, also called the 144,000, also called uh, Christ's first fruits of the harvest. You can find that in uh, Revelation 14. Um, the information I'm talking about, about the 144,000 and the harvest, um, read that separately, but... I'm going to go over what I was shown yesterday, um, last night actually, that uh, that's pretty amazing. So the Lord Jesus Christ said, my remnant has almost been gathered. So that's what this is about, is a gathering of Christ's remnant. And, uh, and the rapture of the 144,000 is about to occur. And how I understand it is 144,000 gets raptured, his first fruits. He needs his end time army to bring in the rapture. And then it's the, uh, the ultimate harvest. So I'm just going to read this out and then show you a couple pictures. So woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. This is talking about, the Lord told me at one point that I will be, um, you know, we're all witnesses. That's why we're here is to witness. Um, because he told me that we are a witness to all the evil that we came in contact with. So anybody that has seen the evil that you've done, it seems like, um, is going to be a witness against you. But if you're in Christ Jesus, you know, that, that doesn't apply because uh, he's taken the sins for us. But now the ones that aren't in Christ Jesus, everybody's witnessing to each other. So, you've scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. To all the pastors that are leading the sheep astray, the Lord's flock, all the pastors that are leading the flock astray, that's who I'm talking to. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries where, there, where I have driven them and will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. 
In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely, and this is his name whereby he shall be called, the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children out of Israel into the land, uh, from the land of Egypt. Excuse me, guys. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries whither I have driven them. And they shall dwell in their own land. Because back, back when Israel transgressed against God, Israel was scattered over the whole world. You know, he scattered Israel over the whole world. And that's why, you know, Jesus had to come to reconcile it all. Now, he's going to be coming back to get the remnant that was saved and and scattered throughout all the lands of the whole world. And uh, and when he does, that's going to be the 144,000 rapture. Um, and if you ask anybody that's in the 144,000, they will agree with me that, uh, that the 144,000 go up first, and then we come back to get the bride with Jesus Christ. Now, that might jam some gears, but... Again, that doesn't matter to me. I put out the message the Lord wants me to, and I ask you all to pray on it, just like you should do with any message that you hear from any man. But I'm not a man pleaser. I'm a God pleaser. So I apologize if I ever offend anyone or if I'm being stern, but it's, uh, it's necessary in these end times because we don't have time don't have time for nonsense so everybody repent ask the lord for forgiveness for all the sins that you've done if you need to say um you know please reveal to me if there's anything that i need to repent of that's what i do i say lord please search my heart and and show me if there's anything that i need to ask for forgiveness for and i will so anyways just want to keep you guys on the the repentant level. Um, Now, let me give you um, some examples of how I got confirmations on this message. All right, so hopefully this video is less shaky and less blurry, but um, you guys know that I'm on probation. It's not a big secret because I'm transparent with everything. So I scribbled out a couple places just for privacy, but... My probation officer comes by yesterday and uh, he gave me this piece of paper. Well, after I read Jeremiah 23 um, and I had, you know, I was about to go to sleep for the night. The Lord said, go grab that piece of paper that your probation officer gave you. So he speaks to me in numbers a lot of the time as well as audibly. And, uh, the I looked on this piece of paper and I was like, there's no numbers here, Lord, that, you know, stick out to me. But then I looked closely and I was like, 43? Well, that one kind of sticks out. I don't know why it's just written on there like that. So he told me to look it up. And this is what I found. So I know a lot of people don't know really how to look up numbers. So I just wanted to include my uh, my search for how you search for numbers. So you put whatever number it is that you think the Lord wants you to look up, and then you type in either Hebrew Strongs or Greek Strongs, okay? So I type that in, 43, right? Abi Asaph, right? I didn't really know what that meant, so I followed it to the root. And when I say root, I mean you click on the blue word, it brings you to the next, okay? So um, it means my father has gathered, After I read, gather my remnant, right? But look what number it led me to, 23. So like uh, Jeremiah 23 that I just read to you guys. 
um, father of gathering, okay, i.e. gatherer. That led me to 622. 622 to gather or remove. And then here are a couple words that really uh, stuck out to me. All together assembled, brought together, collect, disappear, gather, gathered, uh, put them all together, reaper, surely assemble, taken away. You follow that down and it's a gather in to receive, take away, remove. Some people are going to be left behind like the uh, pastors that think they are. Uh, well, actually, I think a lot of them know they're leading the flock astray. So they'll definitely be left behind. Also, all the you know YouTube channels that are putting out false, uh, false doctrine, it's going to be a tough one for them. Um, to gather in together up again. So we'll go back to this. Um, if you look, the name is Jamie. The Lord told me to look up Jamie. So I look up Jamie, <laughs> one who supplants because the 144,000 that are coming back to, uh, to execute the Lord's judgment on this earth they are the ones who supplant the enemy, who supplant Satan. He's done. His time is up. So what does supplant mean? Supplant means supersede and replace, uh, usurp, overthrow, remove, topple, unseat, all right, dethrone. You hear that, Satan? <laughs> it's over for you. You didn't win. You were conquered 2,000 years ago. And now all the 144,000 has to do is carry out the Lord's will. Get ready. It's going to be a hot one. So, okay, defense straight, defense straight, defense straight. Okay, I can't say that word very well, but let's uh, look what it means. To throw someone out a window. <laughs> no, I don't think that's the one. It, it means uh, remove or dismiss someone from a position, power, or authority, right? Because Satan is about to be removed from power for good forever. Okay, so now there's another, uh, it, it was a really strange thing that happened on a Google Doodle. Uh, like I clicked on it in a really weird way. And check this out, guys. <laughs> Feet? What do we need them for? What do I need them for if I have wings to fly? Praise God. All glory to you, Lord. Give us our wings. Give us the bride their wings, Lord. Please, Lord, come quickly. The spirit and the bride say, come. I just want to say right now, if anyone hasn't called out to Jesus Christ, if you need help being saved, I will do anything in my power to help you to get through whatever you're going through. All you have to do is email me. Humble yourself. I've been through it all. I don't know why the Lord chose me um, to do this, but um, you know, maybe it's to to show that you know anybody can be saved if they just humble themselves. So hit your knees. Tell the Lord that you're sorry for all the sins that you've done. Tell him that you believe he died for your sins and rose again the third day. And tell him to just please give you his truth. Say, I just want to know the truth. I love you guys. Take care. God bless. And I love you all. <laughs> Bye.